Hello my friends. So today I just really need to share an amazing story with you. Something that I heard today that really touched me. It blessed me. It even made me emotional. Um, and the moral of the story is that whatever you and I put in when no one is watching, the tough times when you feel alone or when you are hitting some roadblocks or when you just feel alone in your struggles or you feel life's unfair, that all those times, how you and I handle that and what we do in those times will determine what will happen after those times. And this story is about a friend of mine, which I met about eight plus years back. Uh, he's from the Congo and he came to South Africa to look for, for work. And I met him in the gym in Kells River, in Kells River, where I was staying at the time. And we became friends, we gym together here and there. And sometimes I went to go drop him off at his home where he lived. And um, yeah, it was really, I saw the tough life he had. I saw that he was working two or three odd jobs uh, just to provide enough money for himself for rent and also for doing online courses, which he invested in, in, in studying, you know, and he was doing IT courses online. But I knew he, he had it very tough. You could just see it, but he was handling it so well. He was super humble about it. He was never complaining, like really never complaining. And I knew he had it really tough financially and also circumstantially. Because if you come from another country and you even get your IT, you know, even if you get a diploma or a, or a certificate, the odds is quite stacked against you in terms of when you're doing a job application in South Africa, because you're not originally South African. It, it just does count a bit against you. And when it was time, when he finished his studies, he was sending out job application after job application, or, you know, he sent his CV out. And he never heard back from anybody. And I must say, I struggled to see that it was going to work out for him. I knew sort of and I believed and I hoped it was going to work out for him, but I struggled to really see it. And what I heard today, a friend contacted me and he said, listen, do you know this guy? And he sent me a photo of my friend. And I said, yes. And I already Im immediately said, amazing guy. I'm, uh, he made an impact on my life. Such a humble, hard worker. Um, and then this guy said, well, yes, he's also making an impact on them. And this friend of mine, which contacted me today, he works at Adidas in Cape Town. And um, yeah, long story short, my friend from Kells River, he's working for them now in IT. So he got an amazing job with an amazing company. And it really just made me emotional because I knew behind the scenes what this guy was putting in, the amount of hard work he did just to survive. And then also on top of that, getting himself for education and, and, and just believing. And he was always working really hard and never complained. And he had much reason to complain just about the unfairness of life and all of that. And when I also, you know, back then dropped him off at his accommodation, I really felt, yeah, like I had pity on him because it was really dodgy accommodation. And, and I just, so today it's just a good story because just years later, hearing from him, hearing that he's making an impact there, he's, uh, he's if there's a gym there as well, and they all are speaking about how of a beast he is in the gym and how hard worker he is, and it's amazing. It's really amazing, and I want the same that you would believe the same for yourself. Whatever you're trusting for, whatever you're believing for, work hard in behind closed doors when no one is watching. Do that extra, go the extra mile, because very little people are really doing that. And those that are doing it, they are reaping the rewards and the benefits of that. It really is just a matter of time. So from my side, I hope you're blessed by this story. I wish you can know this guy so that you know the amazing guy that he is. And how, um, you'd also be so glad that it worked out for him really well. So yeah, bless you and I hope you have a great week. And just if you take anything from this message, it's just that don't think no one is watching. And whatever you're putting in, and if you're having a humble attitude towards it all, you're going to be blessed and you're going to... Go all the way and you will reap the benefits of that which you put in. Cheers, my friend.